Story about a couple of fish who didn't know that anything was amiss. They were just swimming and eating and living their lives, not ready for a heavy metal surprise. The metal that I'm singing about is mercury. Do you remember from high school chemistry? If you're exposed to too much of this toxin, you can go a little crazy in the noggin. When fishy prey containing mercury, it's not so great, cause mercury tends to bioaccumulate. This means it gets stored in fish muscle tissue and doesn't get excreted, that's the issue. And the mercury bioaccumulates, which means that as the fish grow older, more and more gets stored in muscle tissue, which might be worse in the north as it's colder. In the lakes of northern Ontario, the white sucker and the walleye, they grow slow because the waters are so very cold. They have a lot more mercury when they get old. The further north that you dare set forth, you will notice the growing season short. This contributes to slow growth rates of the fish living in this cold northern fate. And the mercury bioaccumulates, which means that as the fish grow older, more and more gets sold in the tissue, which might be worse in the north because it's colder. If you go out fishing round Perry Sound, we think the fish that are caught there will be found to have less mercury than the fish harvested at the northern town of Attawapiskat. In order to test our hypothesis, the climate affects how much mercury is in fish. We caught walleye and white sucker from 75 leagues in the past few summers. Soon I'll get started working in the lab, analyzing the tissue samples we have on a machine for the determination, total mercury concentration. And the mercury bioaccumulates, which means that as the fish grow older, more and more gets stored in muscle tissue, which might be worse in the north because it's colder. Latitudinally, we can infer how it relates climatically. Since the north is getting warmer, changes in mercury might be in order. Here is something we really should keep in mind by measuring other variables we might find. Lake and watershed characteristics also influence mercury in fish. Why do we care about mercury in fish at all when its importance really seems rather small? Well, in humans, it's a neurotoxin, which matters if you eat fish really often. And the mercury bioaccumulates. Which means that as the fish grow older, more and more gets stored in muscle tissue, which might be worse in the north because it's colder. And the mercury bioaccumulates, which means that as the fish grow older, more and more gets stored in muscle tissue, which might be worse in the north because it's colder.